Paul Sweeney. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. The debate so far demonstrates that privatisation has led to a disastrous combination of service failure, disinvestment and profiteering from public subsidy. A particular absurdity of the 1993 Railways Act was to ban any British public sector bids for franchises, but has permitted overseas state-owned railway firms to bid. The Hong Kong State Railways were run Crossrail, the French state has stakes in London Midlands, South Eastern and Thames like franchises, while the Dutch State Railways run the Greater Anglia and ScotRail franchises, having been awarded the latter contract by the Scottish Government in October 2014, worth £6 billion. This came about after rail franchising powers were devolved to the Scottish Government in 2005. Labour, as left the TSSA and the RMT trade unions, appealed to the Scottish Government in October 2014 to delay the award of this new ScotRail franchise until the power to create a public sector bid was enabled by the passing of the Scotland Act in this place and which came into force in May 2016 and had been known about at the time of the franchise award. This practical measure to accelerate the return of a publicly owned and operated railway in Scotland was disregarded by the SNP and as a result we are stuck with a railway in Scotland that is owned by the Dutch state for another decade. In the years since Abellio was awarded the franchise, fares have risen over 12%, while wages have increased only 1.8%, where performance targets have been missed, many routes are overcrowded, stops have been skipped, leaving passengers stranded, and customer satisfaction has not improved. All the while, Abellio sends its profits back to be invested in the Dutch railway network. My constituency was once the centre of the British locomotive manufacturing industry, but under privatisation, British Rail's world-class engineering and manufacturing divisions were sold off to foreign companies and have subsequently been run down to the point where much of the UK rolling stock is imported from Europe or Japan and virtually nothing is exported to the UK. Other nations view their railway as a core part of their industrial and advanced manufacturing strategies. A restoration of public ownership of rail franchises would be an excellent first step towards a renaissance of the wider British railway industry and the nation that gave railways to the world. I beg to support the motion.